Hi folks, Mark here, bringing you my thoughts on A Woman's Lot, the latest Kingdom Come Deliverance DLC. I've got mixed feelings on this one, it isn't quite what I expected, and I think the best bit about it is actually quite undersold. But first, if you want to watch my entire playthrough of this on YouTube, or if you want to come and watch me play games like this live on Twitch, then just check out the links down below. So the DLC is called A Woman's Lot because it focuses around two women in the game. The main one that it's sold on is Teresa. You play as Teresa and you get to experience her story during the attack on Scalitz and her escape and what happened a day either side of that as well. The second quest, and by far I think the better one, but there's a bit of a but coming attached to that, see more on that later, is Johanka's quest. You remember Johanka from the monastery? She's looking after the sick and injured. Well, in that one, you actually play as Henry, but Johanka sends you off doing all sorts of quests. She's having these strange religious dreams. Again, more on that in just a moment. So what I suspect most people are buying this for, or mostly interested in, is the quest where you play as Teresa. Now, this one I thought was quite disappointing. It's largely made up of fetch quests. Yes, I know it's called A Woman's Lot, and A Woman's Life in Medieval Bohemia might not have been that exciting, but really, it does involve just a lot of menial tasks at the start of the game. Collecting herbs, feeding chickens, talking to other women to get the latest gossip. That's before all the attack and stuff kicks off, of course. Once that happens, things do kick up a gear and there is a wonderful cinematic scene right in the middle of it that I absolutely loved but the actual quests and gameplay playing as Teresa were pretty damn dull and quite flat uh, once it all kicks off there is some combat but not very much Teresa doesn't have any combat skills as such a little bit with the bow but mostly it's about sneaking around and avoiding combat but here's the thing with Teresa's quest it's like a flashback. You're talking to Teresa as Henry long after the, this happened. And she goes into this flashback mode and you get to play as Teresa during the days of the attack on Scalitz. And it gives you this feeling that it's all set in stone. Your decisions don't actually matter because this is history. This has already happened. So when you're trying to save people or do this, you think it's not going to work out anyway because we know so-and-so doesn't survive into the main story because... We know that from later on as playing as Henry. So it gives you this feeling that whatever you do doesn't matter. And I never like that in a game. It's, it's kind of makes you feel, well, just pointless. I'm just going through the motions. One thing that's kind of gimmicky that some of you might like is that you get a dog companion. Now, I found that the dog was just always under my damn feet whenever I was trying to do something, which I guess is kind of realistic in that respect. hope no one else is in this bloody house. <gasps> she wasn't supposed to be Jesus. in there. Ah, get out of the way, dog! Get out of the way! Bloody dog always under my feet. But you can also use it for combat. You can set it on enemies, which kind of distracts them a bit. It's not that great and doesn't always work as you thought. In fact, the only time I got the damn thing to do what I wanted was when I inadvertently set it on one of the villagers to see how combat worked with it. Yeah, yeah, see how that turned out for me. You're full of I can, I can set the dog on it. You haven't two groschen to rub together. <laughs> Please, anyone. Oh dear. There. I think I'm going to jail. For fuck's sake! <laughs> uh, Shep, here. come here, boy. Help! How do I call him off? Come I can't here. run that fast. Hello. <laughs> Oi, come here, come here. You're gonna get hey. uh, dog warden no. come and get you. Whoa. It wasn't. It was the dog. Surrender. Oh You'll God. You'll have to answer for your law breaking. Enough, please. You're a murderer. You killed someone. This. You um, for that with your I didn't life. kill him. He's alive. I set a dog on him. Game over. You were executed for your grave crimes. May God have mercy on your soul. So overall, Teresa's quest is mostly flat, quite linear. Although that is necessarily so, because you know you can't really change history. This this is a story after all. But overall, I found it quite flat and dull, and I didn't enjoy it. And I would rather the developers had just given us a 10 or 15 minute cutscene with Teresa's uh, character just acting this part. It would have been more entertaining to watch, I feel. So skip forward then to Johanka's quest. This is where you actually play as Henry. You talk to Johanka, and she's been having these strange dreams where she gets visited by the Virgin Mary, and she wants you as Henry to go and do something about them. Now, it starts off interesting and it gives you the impression it's going to be over quite face quite quickly but it isn't and it then draws you on the dreams get a little bit stranger your hanker gets drawn into them more this all starts to have a very 
much of a Joan of Arc feel to it. She becomes a religious speaker, you have to decide how you react to that, she sets you off on these religious tasks, and it starts to get extremely, extremely dull at one point. In fact, there was an escort quest where you have to just walk with someone from A to B. It's a long distance and they walk at the slowest pace possible with the most mundane conversation going on between them and Henry. And I thought, I just want to get sucked out of here and go and play something else. However, and this, this is the however with this thing, the ending to Johanka's quest is outstanding. It really is. It took me by surprise. I'm not going to say exactly what it is. It might involve a religious trial. Inquisitor Yaroslav. Think I should stealth kill him? Oh, let's do it. Oh my god. Depending on, well, how you play things out. <laughs> it's really, really good. The big question is, though, is it worth sitting through all the rest? And it is the first time you play. It is. Because it'll catch you out. It'll make you consider some of the decisions you've taken that didn't seem very important at the time leading up to it <laughs> and it'll throw them back in your face and I really like that about this quest it was really really good the thing is though I wouldn't want to play through it all again to get to that there are different outcomes to this quest so it does have replayability but the process to get there is so slow and plodding I just found that a little bit again mundane dull and flat I've got to say but the ending is outstanding for that I, I really do like the ending so overall my opinions on a woman's lot dlc is that it's a little bit dull it's a little bit flat it is probably quite aptly named you do get to see this perspective of uh, the females in the game as they may have been in 15th century bohemia you do get that feeling that things weren't maybe all that fair and balanced uh, and also that maybe their lives were quite mundane compared to the men's but if that was the intention of the DLC, then, uh, well, it's achieved it, but I don't necessarily want to play that sort of life. Thank you very much. Um, it does fill in the story for Teresa. If you're really interested in that, then it really does fill in a bit of the story of what she had to go through during the escape of Scalitz. doesn't quite fit in with my main playing through as Henry, but it, it, it does sort of fit together. Overall, I wouldn't want to play through it again, I've got to say. The voice acting was a bit odd in places with uh, some some very strange sounding recordings i thought but maybe that was just me and to be honest this is one of the dlcs that i would quite happily skip the best one still remains band of bastards that is the best but i am looking forward to kingdom come deliverance 2 whenever that might come because the main game still for me one of the best games without a doubt of 2018. Anyway, folks, that pretty much sums up my thoughts on A Woman's Lot. If you want to see my entire playthrough, check the link to the YouTube channel down below. Or if you want to come and see me play games like this live on Twitch, then, then just follow me there as well. Mark GFL over on Twitch. Thanks again. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you thought of this DLC, of course. And I'll catch you again on the next one.